Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and Baldur's Gate 3. We continue Fabe's dark pursuit of knowledge right where we left off last time. And we are heading to the camp to take care of quite a few this. matters, including ones pertaining to Shadowheart, because I forgot in my haste to get through the tutorialish section and keep on moving, I forgot she had access to Lotus Bells. That she's a cleric, which is, <laughs> surprise, much like a wizard in that, you know, they have loads of spells and they can't prepare them all. And she starts with some exceptionally good ones. Like, I don't know, Bless. Bless is amazing. And Command is probably also pretty fun. I was informed that um, one way to get the sword I was trying to get in the tutorial is to command the guy to drop the sword. And, uh, you know, maybe I should have tried that. But that's all right. We have no one who can use the sword anyway right now. So we're off to camp where we will find a brand new friend. And that's right here in the corner. We will find good old Withers. We released we from a crypt. Again, as predicted. He did mention that. He was quite cryptic. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. And those are? A mending of the threads between life and death. Ooh. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Can I do that? That is incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Not helpful. But okay, thanks. You mentioned a cost. What is it? A matter of coin. Naturally. It always is. Okay. This uh, multi-class. Ah, yes. This advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level up one class at a time. I won't be doing any particular multi-classing. However, Withers has a new feature uh, to keep pushing. compared to in early access, and that is, of course, his ability to respec. And you can respec anyone and everything. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. Except for one's race. I shall be here in thy camp. Yeah. For whenever thou hast need of my services. Can you let me change my class? As thou desire. Now, all of the origin characters have, their story is intertwined with the class that they start as. And there are two in particular, Shadowheart is one of them, that are inextricably tied. So if you change Shadowheart's base class from Cleric, uh, things might be a little different. However, we are going to be changing her, sub her, her domain. So she starts as the Trickery domain, which is about illusions and trickery. And we're going to switch her to the domain of war, because we're kind of using her as a frontliner. This gives her proficiency in martial weapons and heavy armor. It also gives her access to Divine Favor. Weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 Radiant Damage. A Concentrate... Okay, got it. And the Shield of Faith. You already know the spell, but this is a spell as a better version. Oh. You will only have access to this one. How is it better? Oh, it's a bonus action. And her subclass feature is Warp Priest. When you make an unarmed or weapon attack, you can spend a Warp Priest charge to make an additional attack as a bonus action. Because we're using Shadowheart as kind of a frontliner... War Domain makes a lot more sense than, well, what she was doing. We can also take this opportunity to re-spec her. Um, this is fine. I don't need changing that. I'm probably going to have to go through all the characters and change their stat lines. We're going to want... Oh, man, what are we going to want? You don't need int. I'm the only one on this team that needs intelligence. You are going to want a lot of con. It's probably... That? This looks fine. I don't know how important dexterity is going to be for her, but I think we'll go with this. I could dump charisma to get more dex. Uh, that's fine. This is a little greedy, but, you know, greed is good. Until it's bad. I'll do. And... 
you can also level up. Fantastic. More health. Divine calling thingy. The channel divinity was something I also forgot they could do. But it's a special cleric thingy, which I think is just like a spell. Yeah, like turn undead here. And then guided strike. You gain a plus 10 bonus to your attack roll. For one turn. That seems really good. Alrighty. Well done, Shadowheart. What a day. And now we're going to take a moment to re... Do I need to respect you? How are you doing? Um, why do you have 13 intelligence? I don't know. But we will respect you. No matter how I quite look at this, we're going to end up with some odd numbers. So what we'll do is we'll give him a little bit of charisma and we'll play some tricksy little hobbitses to get his dexterity to 18 at level 4 without me having to do much. Well, that's the plan anyway. Also, his cantrip comes from his race, not him being an arcane trickster. That, I believe, is a level 3 thing. Guess we get all of our bonus actions all well and beautiful. No one stopped me yet. Now, we are here mostly... Oh, look, our health is back as well. I was going to rest, but do I have to? Not really. Moving ahead. Do your spells come back once per long rest? I mean, I might as well. My mind. We're at a good point for and it. Well, in it. We can also chat with uh, Shadowheart. Look at Astarian and his beautiful thing. Step. Now Astarian, or excuse me, Shadowheart likes us quite a lot. And I would like to keep her on the team for two reasons. Reason one, Bless is pretty good. And having a wisdom character would also be pretty nice. And reason two is, like as I mentioned earlier, she is now our frontliner. So, you know. Do you feel? Hmm. Fine. Much better than I thought I would, given the circumstances. Yes, me as well. Besides the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. It's quite unusual for Seramorphosis. Good. It's so strange. Do you remember the voice aboard the ship? Yes. It's been hard to forget. Yes. Almost like it's whispering to me still. The voice said I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think that means? I have no idea. Hmm. Perhaps it's a compliment. Maybe it sounds like it has plans for us. Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Indeed. Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Can we even find one strong well, enough? my piece. Get some rest. Did you, though? I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. I'm a wizard, too. Hmm. Shall we get to know each other a little more, Shadowheart? Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Oh, that's fair. Hmm. If you're not comfortable, I won't press you. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Hmm. All right. Sounds good. Shall we go speak with Astarian? I'd like Astarian to stay with us as well. Uh, I do have plans, schemes, for what I would like to do, but we'll see if it all comes to fruition. Sounds like you've been learning all about your gruesome future. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. Indeed. Hmm. I am kind of hoping it'll stay that way. Naturally. But I was thinking, what if it doesn't? What of if it course, doesn't? First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. Well, that's I am rude. open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. Hmm. I would prefer not to die, because death it is the inescapable end. Well, now you're just being close-minded. There are some lovely ways to go. I've watched urchins freeze to death in the street. It looks peaceful, just like falling asleep. Hmm. Well. 
poison then. Why not? A fine choice. I can think of some nightshades that are deliciously fatal. If they're mixed well, you'll just close your eyes and drift away. <laughs> and if they're not, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst case scenario. Obviously. Obviously. And you? How should I kill you? <laughs> oh, my boy. I'd like to see you try. I am a wizard. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. Oh, yes. Okay. There's one last companion to speak with, and this companion will be with us the sh shortest. Although now I am deadly curious why there are two of you. Oh, your mirror image. Are you practicing a spell? Can you teach me the spell? Be with you in a moment. A moment, huh? So, why are you studying your own mirror image? Indulging in a... Spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Since your rework, not too bad. Be yet. that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Well. First and foremost, the temple. Spot on. Indeed. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Yeah. Need to go on? Sure. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? Absolutely. I do, but you might as well finish the picture. Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven... A mind flayer is born. This is the annotated version, of course. Well, we saw one transform at the push of a button, and we haven't even seen any symptoms. Um. We should be having a fever by now, then. Spot on again. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is abnormal. <laughs> Long live the abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. I am the storm. Something to sleep on. <laughs> we should get some rest. Interesting. The others, I triggered something that made them approve of me, but not Gale. Ah, well. Who cares? Auto select. The auto selected one over. Whatever, it's fine. What you doing? I believe in Faerun, the elves do not need to sleep. They do like a meditation thing. <sighs> that was a nice little sigh. <laughs> Alrighty. Let us return to our journey. If you skipped all that, hello. I'm sure I'll do chapters or timestamps or something, as I always do. Thank you for joining me as we continue our journey. I have failed in a survival check. Will you lot succeed? Something over there. Something over there. Indeed. Now, oh, hey, I'm going to shovel something up. Oh, a treasure chest. I didn't actually know this was here. An arrow of ice. A single use with my bow shatters and deals an additional two to one cold damage to all caught in the frosty explosion. Okay. My crossbow has been suspiciously accurate. So I'm all in. Now the question is, where do we go from here? For you, once this is over. you know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. Wow. Sounds like Shadowheart isn't too interested in a romantic relationship. But to be fair, as of right now, neither am I. Although I will say, 
There are some fine ladies waiting for us in this game. Shadowheart, of course, is one of them. But she's kind of my plan B. Ooh. One of them Don't let her hear me say that. Squad. So let's leave it. Hmm. And let the goblins have it. No. Shall we go up from behind? I mean, we're no rogue, but we can also do things from behind. I also learned a new trick. This is why it's always fun to watch other people play. <laughs> Although I'm not spoiling myself. If I press C, just out of view. we stealth. Look at that. But if I shift C, careful footwork. the whole party stealths. Isn't that amazing? I learn something new every day. As for why I'm stealth, I don't, I don't know. Lazel is looking at me. Are you going to break this? Don't ruin this for me. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. Well, that's rude. dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Also rude. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh. Someone did succeed their stealth check. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. No. Oh. Hmm. So we can attempt to deceive them. Get out of here and leave it to me. We can try and persuade them. <laughs> we must kill it before it harms someone. Or I could just straight up attack the tieflings. Well. Sure, I'll deceive them. The creature is dangerous. Now, of course, I'm not particularly great at charisma. I did want to do a sorcerer playthrough. Oh, a nat 20. Off to a great start this episode. <laughs> He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Hmm. I am in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? An 18, wow. I mean, am I in dire? I look pretty healthy. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound... She can mend it. I doubt that. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Okay. Enough gawking. Get me down. Sure thing. <laughs> now that they're out of earshot, sure. I believe I can do that by just shooting it. Observe and listen. Enough You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. Harsh but words. the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Will I? Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Hmm. Well, and what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Hmm. Okay. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Bye, Gail. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. Sounds good. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. I think I was supposed to... If I wanted her to come immediately, I think I was supposed to... Um, leave and tell Gale to go away. Anyway. Gale? It was a pleasure meeting as fellow wizard. Seems like a but, good uh, to talk. You need to chill. With Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, stay here. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Shouldn't you be spoilers? Don't say it. <laughs> All right, where is? This Gith Yankee. Fantastic. Hi. Chatter already, Tusky. I'm here to bring you with me. 
join me. It is done. Now, of course, Shadowheart and uh, Blazel do not get along, as you may have been able to tell. So I'm actually quite curious if I can keep the peace as twere. Do you need to be respect? It wouldn't hurt just to, like, even things out. But she does have great weapon fighting, which is, like, what I would what I would do. You know what? I'll just leave it as she is. We're kind of low on cash, so... That's fine. Is this action surge? Oh, yeah. Also known as the reason everyone can spec into fighter with no questions asked. Alrighty, take this. Now you have a 4 to 13 longsword, and I believe... I gave all the weapons to a star. You do need this, so give this to Lazel. I do not believe I have a better longsword. I also don't have a rapier, which is strange. Yeah, this is the same. Wait a minute. Is this not a two-handed? Yeah, whatever. Let us skedaddle. And get on to the story of today. Which I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, I also tweaked the audio quite a bit. I don't remember if I mentioned that. And hopefully it's better. I want you to be able to hear the character voices almost as loud as me. Not quite though. But uh, clearly, they have important things to say. We do have a marker, a few markers on the map. Well, they can wait. But be careful. Obviously. Um, a crushed spike trap. Oh. Um, wait, hold on. You do this. This is for you. Can I unselect this? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Look at this roll. Oh my goodness. I feel like playing a rogue would be a good way to just... What was the point of that? Did Still I just waste breathing. my trap? Just despite everything. Disarming cap? With haste. Yeah, whatever. I feel like playing a rogue would be a great start. Dirt mounts. Shall I dig it? Maybe we'll find treasure. Oh, look, there there was treasure. I was joking. Here we are. A fire amber. Amber. An alchemical creation. Material. Um, that on the map looks inaccessible, but I don't believe it is. I don't know where we're going, but, um... Oh! I found out where we're going. I'm going this way. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Who goes first? I think we'll leave Astarian and Lazel here. And then I will go with Shadowheart. Does this turn off everybody? Oh, it turns off just the link people. Okay. Uh, I'll go with Shadowheart to um, investigate the situation. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Yep. By the nine hells! Open the gate! Now you see the picture. I mean, we're also here. Maybe we can help. Or, you know, help. Ooh. Get him! No! Wow, you guys are strong. Oh, just kidding. I take it back. Damnable roach! 
provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Hi. Now, of course, that's a character we have never met before. But uh, just a fun little tidbit. Will is the warlock recruitable character. And he has changed quite a lot since early access. His character has been, like, entirely rewritten. So I didn't like him initially. But we'll see if he's perhaps worthy of our attention. Babe, of course, is going first because he has some bat initiative. Bugbears are pretty spooky. I don't know if I can get a better chance here. 60 feels pretty low. Can I see why it's so low? Hmm. Maybe I should have stuck to the high grounds. That might have been a good idea. <laughs> well, I could also magic missiles. These things do not miss. Hmm, this guy has high defense. Let's get rid of the bugbear. Or, wait, 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 wait. Clever use of game mechanics. Ooh, nice. Knocked him down. Knocked down the warg. Got some resists. I think I'm safe here. We'll move back just a touch. Positioning is important. Now you will end your turn, and it's time for us to get... Oh, you guys are in combat. Well, shite. Every last one of you! Oh, yeah, good luck. Ooh, he auto applied Bane. My sickle and sword. Strike them down. Oh. I thought you were a um Ooh, good dodge. Ooh, that's good dodge. That's okay though. That's okay though, because we're in a great position. Unfortunately. Not a great position for rogue shenanigans, but a great position for other shenanigans, such as... 45%. Astarian. Get to work. I can't believe that worked, actually. I did just remove some of his strength. Disadvantage? Why? Am I not close enough for a melee attack? <laughs> That's what I thought. Alrighty. We're off to a good start here. Part of it's because I knew what was going to happen. But that's kind of how I should approach all suspicious situations. Wow, Zevler, you're so helpful. Oh, he rallied us. That includes me. Nice, good shots. I might not need to use any magic at all. Well, you know. Oh, he jumped. Hmm, Shadow Heart, Shadow Heart, Shadow Heart. Do I buff or do I just eat this? I think I'm just gonna eat this now. 80%. Okay. Nothing too special. But I don't particularly care. Ooh, you got two hints. Wait, does that mean you're level five? No, you're level two. Because of rally? What does Rally do? We should look at this. Eight ten hit points. Yeah. On the move. Now, unfortunately, Lazel is in a pretty bad spot for my melee character, but I can still take a shot. It's over, Anakin. Oh, you missed the seventy-five with advantage. Well, not advantage, but high ground, which may be a type of advantage. Ooh. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the combo of the century. <laughs> All right, and chill. That's a fun combo. It wasn't particularly great, but it was a fun combo. I wonder, so I targeted the ground to blow up the grease, right? But I wonder if I had just targeted an enemy inside of the grease, if it still would have exploded. So I can try and hide. I don't think anyone is facing this way, so let's use a cunning hide. Fantastic. Now, we can use a sneak attack. 
A beautiful shot, Astarian. Rogues are good. <laughs> Rogues are good. You can chill there. I'm still debating what I want to do with Astarian, because I think it could be fun to make him an arcane trickster. Currently, he has no class. And I think that's more a matter of, you know, he's just too level level. 50-50? Well done. Did you just attack your friends? Excuse me? Oh. Wait. What? I'm so confused. That's okay. Target outside. Ah, that's where the disadvantage is coming from. There we go. I'll take it. Beautiful. Now, of course, I want Lazal to be in melee, but I... Left up here. Alrighty, Fabe, can you get a shot in? 60%, I'll take it. A five, wow. Not bad. What are you throwing that's healing me? I mean, I appreciate it. Just a surprise. I'll do it my way. The best way. Oh, I could shoot him. <laughs> well, I tried. Did you guys have Bane on you? My Shadow Heart gets a hit. A 55% chance to hit. Really? That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Cool. Good. No one left behind. Damn. Lazelle is inspired. What would a grubby little beast after? This place doesn't look like much. This place doesn't look like much indeed. But let's loot all the stuff. Settled nearby. More will come. And more after that. I have a feeling Lazelle does not want me to do something that I want to do. You know? Excuse me, is that stealing? Anything of use? What? Hey, Astarian. What now? Moving. I'd like you to steal this. I don't think anyone's here. I mean, I'll hide anyway. You never know. Into the shadows. Is this even worth stealing? Really? Alright, get back together. I've got a long road ahead. If not over. Then through. Ooh. I kind of wanted that. The Gloves of Power. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the attacks. Oh, nice. And it gets sleight of hand. Ooh. I want that on a Starion, then. That will improve his melee capacity, which we're not really using him as such. But we could. Oh, hey. He opened the door for me. Thanks. Let's give this to Astarian. Okay. Let's move. I'd like to get a rapier for him, but we need to Let's sell. I need to sell a lot. We're in the Emerald Grove. I have a feeling we're going to spend Can a lot of time children here. Children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Hmm. <laughs> ah, backstabbing. This feels just like home. Now, in my backstory, there wasn't too much backstabbing, but um, because my mother was a full-blown drow, I'm sure there was some. Pull your claws in, under elf. Show some respect. This man saved your pathetic life. I did. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. You did. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward! The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. It is not a good idea to melee attack. So we could intimidate. If you want me to take both of you down, I will. That sounds like a terrible idea. More violence won't bring back those you lost. I'm just going to stand back and watch. 
Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. So you knocked him out cold instead. Clever. Eh, let him speak. Nah, it'd be funny. Only way he shut that hole under his nose. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. So are you leaving now? For once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Shall I help you? Oh. He doesn't need help. Regression. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. Well, if you didn't fail your insight roll. Was help out there from a drow. Thank you. I'm Zevlo. I'm Babe. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This Why? attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. Why are they forcing you out? Do I care? Not particularly. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't what? stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Hmm. Uh... Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Do I want to get involved? I'll see what I can really? do. We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. I'm more interested in their ritual than oh, anything. And if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. I'll make sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. Rude? Bruh. I didn't realize I'd have full drow interactions. But, uh, man, yeah, cool. So this is the the town. Uh, there's a lot going on here. You can steal some stuff. And uh, there's a lot we'll be doing. Why does this keep happening? He was joking about Octa Soup just a moment ago. No, nope, he's dead now. Come on, Rika. Now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? We... we Can't see I particularly care. He got shot. Get good. Yeah. I mean, I got shot, but... Yeah. I came back. <laughs> I recovered. Oh. Hey. Yeah, I forgot about this. You're, um... Is there a particular reason? Ooh, do I try it? Oh, he's slow. Too slow. Yep, too slow. Oh, you're surprised. I could try. This is Starion. Starion tries. Let's go. I believe. On my way. You can do it. Oh. I made a mistake. So, I should have used dash as the full action to then bonus action push. Oh, I think I'm in a bad position, though. Yeah. I didn't even do any damage. My faith will protect me. Moving. Ah. 
Well, I saved you. Maybe you can do it? You go here. And then you push. That is not much of a push. You succeeded. <laughs> okay. This has been a strange endeavor of me trying to push him off the, the freaking ledge. I have the high ground. Look at that. You gonna kill my hand? No. Came for a starion. Wow. Swift and lethal. Well, I have a sword too. Alright. Time to kill. I'll let you shank him. You missed. And then you failed the athletics check. How about you? Not enough movement. Just out of range. Disadvantage. The target is too close. I have screwed the pooch in multiple ways against this fight. I was so proud of how I did the last one, and then this one's just a disaster. Should I try the push again? <laughs> Get down. That's fine. Babe will take care of this. Or not. This could have gone so much better. But here we are. There's a short rest. Get rid of poison. You're failing your save. Can I help you? What is this doing? Well, anyway, we leveled up. These things have stayed interesting. That's true. Things have stayed interesting. At level three, as a wizard, we gain two spells and a level two spell slot. Choices are pending. Indeed, they are. So these are level two spells. We could also pick up some level one spells. But, of course, we want these. Making them attack the creature closest to them other than you, even if it's allied. Ooh. I'm not against that. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is this the ball that the druids get? Because that was hilarious. Magic weapon. The weapon becomes magical. Do hmm. Well, that sounds fun. And mirror image. Ooh, Misty Step is also pretty good. Ooh. I can learn Ray of Enfeeblement. Oh, Scorching Ray is also pretty good. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic material, such as stone, have disadvantage on their saving throws. And there's Web. This is similar to the Grease thing. It's a little different. Ah. I don't know exactly what I should get here. Conjure a cloud of spinning daggers that attack anyone inside. For 10 turns, it's a concentration spell. That could be fun if I can lock people down. You know, keep actually successfully push them into it. Let's get the Crown of Madness. That sounds hilarious. And draw magic fairy fire. All attacks within the light turn visible. Targets, excuse me. And attack rolls against them have advantage. Oh, that's very good. Always prepared. Will this take a level one spell slot? I think it will. No? Okay. Don't touch me. Rude. I know you're not very happy with my decision making. Oh. So, we can now select Astarians subclass. And uh Arcane Trickster could be fun. But, uh, da, 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 da. we could just do something else. Gain an additional bonus action. You master the art of falling and gain resistance to falling damage. 
or assassin. This is added uh, for full release. You are deadliest against unprepared enemies. In combat, you have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a crit. And blah, blah, blah. You immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Hmm. Thief sounds fun. A second bonus action? So we can hide and dash in the same turn if we wanted to, or disengage and... Well, I do feel like this would be fun. You know, let's just take Thief. It's fine. Thief is probably the best for just if someone doesn't know what they're doing. Like me! I crave blood. Lazel has leveled up to Fighter 3, which has given her subclass features. As well, she can be a Battlemaster, which gives her superiority die. You have four. At fighter level 10, these have become D10. They fuel your battle mass maneuvers and are expended upon use. Huh. There's Eldritch Knight, which is kind of like Arcane Trickster. Hmm. And then there's Champion, which was added in the full release as well. The number you need to roll a crit hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Hmm. So, champion, from my understanding, is we just get a bunch of passives to do real good things. Battlemaster, I get to do, like, maneuvers. And I can use those special die to do them, I think. Oh, dear. Ooh. Sweeping attack. When a hostile creature misses you with a melee attack, expend a superior die to retaliate. That sounds fun. Uh, to make an attack that deals additional 1d8 and possibly pushes them back. You can spend a superiority to add it to the result of attack roll. That sounds good as well. Uh, frighten. Spend a superiority to make an attack that deals additional 1d8. On a hit, select which friendly creature will gain half its movement speed. It will not provoke attack of opportunities. That sounds good. Goading attack, they receive disadvantage on other people. You can use both your actions and bonus action on a turn to deal attack at a target with advantage and deal additional 1d8. Wow. A lot of these seem really good. Spend an action and a reaction to direct an ally to strike a foe. The ally immediately uses their reaction to make a weapon attack. Um... Uh... Okay, I'll grab Sweeping Attack. I don't know if these are good, uh, but they seem good. And last, but certainly not least, our new War Priest. What's this? Spiritual Weapon. Oh. Nice. And then Magic Weapon. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. I need to click the, um... The bound Spells button. Word and ally, they gain resistance to all damage. No. No. Clear or destroy water. Nah. Why did it rechange my bound spells? Oh, because I didn't look at it, I'm sure. Hold person is pretty good. So we'll grab a hold person. We saw what silence did. I wasn't a huge fan. Uh, lesser restoration might be good. I feel like I can just use alchemy for that, right? Bestow a magical enhancement upon an ally. They gain advantage on ability checks with a chosen ability. That also seems good. Oh dear. I guess I'll just grab that. Heal all allies, you can see. I'm probably going to end up using these spells. The always prepared spells from my war domain. Okay. All's well that ends. Well, not as bad as it could have. Hmm. You have good timing. 
Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. Why was one even but you're here? You're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Um. Hmm. I could try deception. I have advantage. Well. I am curious what this coin is. Shall I try it? Oh wow, it's only a five. I'm not sure why I had advantage here. That's okay. That bloody ironies. Devils just can't stand to lose. Shadow Heart approves. <laughs> here. Now go back to the pit that made you. She told me to leave. I don't have an option to leave. Well, anyway, the bugbear almost crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. Why, thank you, dread slayer of bugbears. You shall live forever in my memory. I want to push you now off. Now take my regards back to that pouting Irenes and leave me alone. Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. It is a misunderstanding, but um, I don't particularly care about that. What's this? Oh, it's where he came from. Wait, do I have the portal here? I might not. Oh, I do. I do. My bad. Alrighty, I'm gonna go find the merchant, and we will call it a day, probably. I care about our lives. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. Hmm. Well, dire times, high stakes. You sound just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanas each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. I doubt that. What is on? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy, but bartering will let you haggle for the best value. Okie dokie. I have bartered away a bunch of my stuff I was carrying and have 777 gold. Guide your path. But of course. Be careful near a trader's watchful eyes. Their attitudes towards you affects the pride of their stock. What does that even mean? Of course. Well, uh, you know. There's some stuff you possess. And some stuff I would else? like. We can do this little trick from Divinity Original Sin. And crouch. Ooh, I'm being spotted. Who is seeing me? That guy. Calm down. Please. Oh, I don't. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. I think I have to talk to them first. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Have to keep going. Hello. Could you guys move? Like away. We should speak up. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. I say get out while you can. Common sense at last. Let's get out of this death trap. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Come on, sis. We're less of a target alone. We should leave. Uh, fine. 
They sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. Oh, nothing will happen to these people. They'll be just fine. Probably. I mean, what could I be insinuating? Need anything else? No. Not from you, anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go, Asdarian. My super pickpocketer. So, what do we want? We probably want... His armor. Armor's pretty good. Plus one bonus to deck saving throws and checks. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. Ooh. So strength saving throws and checks. No AC bonus from decks. Not proficient with heavy armor. Nope, you're not. It takes 12, and we are kind of proficient. In fact, action, we can make it better. Action. With guidance, I think. Here you go. And I need to run, I think. I think he'll try and search. Basically, they did in Divinity. Oh, you've been robbed. What a shame. What are you gonna do about it? has been rifling through the wrong pockets. You sense now would be a good time to clarify if that someone is you. No. Your honesty speaks for itself. It seems you're free to go. How do you know that, Malady? Watch your Miss Narrator. Well, that's basically the gist of this trick. If you were interested in stealing stuff for your own purposes. Oh, there's another vendor. I didn't know about you. I just don't think I did. Hmm. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. We have made it to the Druid's Grove. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I'm sure there's nothing suspicious or terrifying going on here at all. There's chanting going on. But I'll uh, clean up some of the the inventory for next time and make the most out of everything we can grab. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up to date with the campaign channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I will see you next time as we figure out what's going on in the Druid's Grove and how our dear Fabe feels about it. Bye.